Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 27 and in this tutorial I am going to show you guys how to style links on your web page using CSS. Okay, so I decided that this would be a good time to throw this tutorial in because uh, we were talking about pseudo classes and whenever you're going to style links on your web page you're actually going to make use of pseudo classes to style them. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually just throw a link in on our page. So I'm going to go ahead and just add my two A tags and I'm going to make a link to my YouTube channel. So we'll just type in my channel over here. And for the href, obviously I have to put the URL of my YouTube channel, which is HTTP colon slash slash www dot youtube dot com slash quinton what and I'd really like to change it to slash programs creed but I cannot because I already set it to this uh, URL before which is a shame but anyways if I go ahead now and save this and uh, run this in Firefox now you'll see that I get a link on my web page. Okay, so nothing interesting about this just yet. But like I said, whenever we style links on our web page, we make use of four different classes. So let me go ahead and show you what those uh, classes are. And the first one is just a normal link that's never been visited or never um, been clicked on. So that would just be A by itself. Then the second state that we can style our link in, and this is where we make use of pseudo classes now. So we're gonna have to uh, put that colon in there. And uh, the second class is hover. So this is basically while your mouse is hovering over the link, then the second one we is going to be A, active and this is basically uh, the state that the link is in while you are clicking down on the actual link and then the last one is a visited and this is basically the state at which uh, the link has already been visited so you've already been to the URL that that link will take you to okay so um, without changing anything, let's go back to the browser over here and let me explain. Okay, so right now our link is completely default and it's never been visited. So right now we are looking at our link in this state, just the normal state. Okay, but if I go ahead and hover over this link, uh, nothing actually changes but that is the second state. So you can see my cursor actually changes to a hand. And that is the second state, okay? And that is the hover state. So I can go ahead and make this link change different color, a different color while I'm hovering over it. Uh, let me actually zoom in a little bit more. And then uh, when I click down on this link, you can see that it has now changed to a red color. So this is the active state so while I'm holding down this link is active and as soon as I let go um, I start going through to my YouTube channel and uh, when I go back here you can see that the link has now turned purple and that means that I have visited this link so that is the last state the visited state okay so let's go ahead and just clear my history out here Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and clear that out. And uh, this should make it so that my link uh, has never been visited again. Okay, so now let's go and actually style these different states. So uh, by default, you can see that the link is actually blue and is underlined. So let's go ahead and actually change this up a little bit. Uh, we'll change the color to um, green and let's take the text decoration away so text 
decoration, none. So that means that it must not be underlined. Uh, now let's go ahead and style the hover state. So we can change this color to uh, red. And we'll uh, put the underline back in. So text decoration underline. And uh, now we can style the active state. So this is basically while we are clicking down on the link. And we'll change that color to, um, I don't know, orange. And text uh, decoration um, still underline. Actually, we don't even need to include this because it will inherit the underline from the hover state. Okay, and for visited, we can go ahead and set the color to something that we haven't used before. So we've got green, red, orange. Uh, I don't want to use blue because that was the default. So let's go ahead and use um, gray. I guess. Or oh, let's go ahead and use pink. I don't know if pink is actually actually a color, but we'll try. And text decoration none. So basically we don't want it underlined anymore once it's been visited. Okay. So let's go back here and click refresh. And as you can see, we now have a link that is going to change um, every time the state actually changes. So remember before by default it was blue and underlined um, if the link had not been visited. Now it's actually green and if I go ahead and hover my mouse over it it's changed to a red color and it actually has the underline uh, styling in there. And now when I go ahead and hold down on the link, so this is the active state, it has changed to an orange color and it's still underlined because it inherited the underline from um, the visited or the hover state. And now when I let go of this and um, let the actual page load, when I go back here, you can see that I have a pink link. So in other words, um, it's now been visited. So it's in the visited state, which uh, we set the color to pink. Okay, so that's how to style links on your web page. And uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.